Hello everyone. Welcome to Liberable and welcome to a straight pipe weird Renault Megane 225 Sport RS Sport. So 2 litre turbo here, 16 valves and a very loud exhaust. Tyron, welcome to Liberable bro. Thanks, How are you? Sir. Yourself? Lovely, 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 lovely. And thank you for bringing your McGann RS out, man. No problem. I really appreciate it. I've never driven a car like this yet. I've only driven the newer ones. And I'm curious to see what uh, this car is like. So far, the clutch and stuff is lovely. Steering wheel also feels really nice and tight. Suspension feels excellent. This car is riding on the stock suspension, right? That's correct, yes. Awesome. Guys, before I go further with the video, uh, Liberty Ball, that sound t shirts are available. Check them out. Link in the description box below. Keep me closer. Don't need They sound fantastic. Yes. They sound absolutely fantastic. And this car aged also really, really well. Quite well, actually. It's just unfortunate that they become so scarce because people don't really maintain them properly. Of course. Not only that, I mean, scarce and reliability is questionable. You know, some people have a very good track record with them, some people have a really bad track record yeah. with them. Um, electronic gremlins, gremlins up the wazoo. So I get that they are they are fundamentally not what you'd call a Japanese hot hatch. Yeah. But what they do have is oodles, oodles of character. Yeah, and I mean, by the exhaust popping and cracking, this is on a stock file car. Yeah. Um, I'm loving what I'm experiencing here. I just love how tight this car feels. It feels really together, well sorted chassis, feels excellent. Now, more information on the Renault Megane RS. Uh, this one has 165 kilowatt. The F1 that came after this had 169 kilowatt. I wonder who chose 169 kilowatt at Renault France. But it's a very interesting number for kilowatt. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was maybe a going joke in the fact that I think so time. too. I'm sure it makes around 169, it doesn't make 169 exactly. But also, um, Brembo brakes up front, Brembo brakes at the back, um, fully independent suspension all the way around. Uh, just really well sorted chassis here, and trust me guys, you can feel it the way this car turns. I really love the, the, the dynamics that these McCann or hatchbacks offer. The other thing you want me to talk about probably is the interior. Um, yeah, it's French, so they struggle, you yeah. know, in the... Like, long run. Yeah, and also like, everything becomes sticky over time, and yeah, I, I, you know what? It's truth be told, don't buy a again or is thinking the interior is gonna look nice after 15 years. Like it's it's gonna have windy the seats as well. I'm surprised this the seats didn't uh, hold up too bad considering uh, the score. What mileage on this car now? Uh, it's got 153,000. That's not bad, also. So the interior didn't know that too bad for the kilometers. I mean, this was from 2005, exactly. Yeah, that's the very first, very first year of production in these cars. It's a 16 year old car. Yeah. <laughs> I've 
think that's lovely, man. It's such a nice character. Guys, I will put my foot down. I'm coming onto a nice road now where I can do some pulls um, and see what's what. But so far, the gearbox. turbo to get the boost going nice and fast i'm such a sucker for rs mcgans like if i could own every rs mcgan i would they just have such a nice character man you know it's not your gti it's not your opc opc also got quite a bit of character mm. but it's not that mundane typical you know hot hatch yeah. it's different to a running side it's different to a to a I love how this car feels like it's so pointy and dotty and the gearbox wow sorry have you put a lot of money into this car um in the short time that i've owned it i've owned it for about nine months now oh, wow. i have spent quite a bit on it oh. i must be honest but it was mostly take you through a few things in this interior because he has a lot of modern comfort features that I did not expect so push to start automatic climate control uh, automatic headlights uh, rain sensing wipers if I'm not mistaken correct, yes. uh, controls on the steering wheel uh, a handbrake it looks like it's from the Starship Enterprise <laughs> like Here's a key that you slot into a slot, which is so cool. I'm sure that's very expensive if you lose that. Yeah. Let's add a little, little after the pull we did. Your red, orange, reddish seat belts. I don't know. I'm quite a fan of what's going on here. I'm going to let the Titan do a pull for me up and that way again and make a U-turn and come back. So we can hear how it sounds on the house and then we'll drive back to our spot again. <laughs> Like you must be prepared in the same way I bought my CLK 
I knew that I need to mentally prepare myself for head bolts if it eventually does go. I knew I had to prepare myself for injectors, um, oil leaks. It's just something that is normal when it comes to owning a performance car, but especially German or French or Italian sports cars, you know. Look, the Gita is the exception. They've been making it for so much years now. They know exactly what they're doing and how to make it reliable. Mm. But this is fun. It's a lot of fun. It's just got such a nice character, man. And that's what I absolutely love about it. It's an infectious character that it's got. I, I just, I absolutely adore it. Second gear. It's like a third gear now. Loves to rev. Mm, 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 mm. What are your plans? My plans is uh, dump valve, mm -hmm. cold air induction, and the remap software for now. Of course. What what does it push them to from 165 to? Uh, it should kick out around about 185, 190, around about there when once I'm done with mm -hmm. everything. That's that's about the the low estimate. Mm -hmm. It could kick out more, but we'll have to see. I'm also quite curious. Please let me know when you do this software. I'd love to feel it again. Oh, this because this is um, really impressive. I love the way this engine feels. It doesn't feel like an EA888 or EA118. I keep forgetting the name of the of the Golf 6 GTI motor. It feels more eager, more happier to rev out. But then again, you have the S3 motor that's in the 35th edition. And that is a little force to be reckoned with yes, that engine. Definitely. With mods on that motor and that dual clutch. Oh. Yeah, for the reason why this clutch doesn't feel so nice, it's also a dual mesh clutch. Oh, shame for you when it goes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm not eager to immediately go big mods and stage two because I'm worried about the clutch first of all. First, I want to get over that and then I can maybe look at going bigger turbo, bigger intercooler, stage two, of all course. those. Tyron, thank you so much for this opportunity. No problem. I really, really appreciate this. This is a fantastic car. Um, I'd like to get my hands on the F1 now to see what F1 is like with proper mods, like maybe big turbo or something, because I think it's going to make for a really special car. I mean, I'm a fan of Renault, as a lot of people know. I'm not a fan of what parts cost and the reliability in South Africa, to say the least, and also the customer service. Um, I have to call it you know, out on that because I mean very little talks there. Barely noticeable talks there actually. It's there, but not like crazy. Yeah, it's pretty. I yeah. think the, the thing is with for the year model that this car came out, the Renault created the suspension and they made it very clear to the customers they uh, you do not expect a comfortable drive. Yeah. It's a stiff suspension, but that is the exact purpose for the torque steer yeah. and when you pull, it sits. I'm not gonna lie, this car is stupid comfortable. It doesn't feel rough, okay, it does feel rough over certain type of bumps, but majority of the time it rounds the edges off of a bump really nicely. I can feel it's a quality suspension. So yeah, Tyron, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate this opportunity. And I'm looking forward to see this car again. Want you to some mods? Well, do so. I'll let you know. And definitely, if someone has an F1 with some proper mods as well, please, I'd love to feel the difference between the two cars and what it's like uh, to drive. So yeah. Thumbs up, subscribe, check out Tyron. I will link all his social media on screen and also in the description box below. Be free, be you. Liberable, Liberable out.